Most of us have only ever put 100 low lead in our airplanes. But those times are changing. Hello everyone, it's Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from the National Research Council in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, where they're using specialized equipment to test alternatives to 100 low lead fuel. Although NRC is taking part in the FAA-led Piston Aircraft Fuel Initiative by conducting flight tests, it's also doing some independent analysis using its altitude chamber. Like the FAA, NRC is testing both swift fuels and shells alternatives to 100 low lead, but the Ottawa facility has more sophisticated equipment than the FAA does. Here's Pervez Cantinwala to tell us how it all works. So this is a Continental TSIO 520 VB engine. It's uh, the same sort of engine that's found in the twin engine Cessna 402C aircraft. And here we're at the National Research Council of Canada's altitude chamber facility. So we've set up a piston engine test rig in here um, to simulate altitude conditions, temperature and pressure um, throughout the flight envelope of this particular engine. So we're conducting testing on aviation gasoline, 100 low lead, and uh, the new candidate fuels that may be replacing 100 low lead fuel in the future. So the chamber itself um, basically provides um, the flow rate to the engine at whatever pressure or temperature we want. So it's quite useful because we can do a sea level test, um, minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 40 degrees Celsius, all the way up to go to the ceiling of this engine, 30,000 feet, or even higher for other engines. Um, but basically we can go up and simulate the entire flight envelope for this engine at whatever temperature and pressure condition we want. And so for this particular testing, we'll be doing a series of different tests. We'll look at the engine performance. Uh, we'll do operability tests, such as starting the engine, altitude restarts, uh, transients, so fast accelerations, decelerations of the engine, and detonation testing. Um, we'll also be checking the emissions of the fuels while we're doing some of this testing as well. Sure, so right now we just finished a preliminary campaign on commissioning this facility and testing 100 low lead as the baseline fuel for this. That's what the, this engine is certified to run on. And um, <clears throat> we want to use that fuel to compare the candidate fuels too. So um, all the performance specs for this engine were, were from 100 low lead fuel. And so we want to compare and see if the new fuels meet all the same performance specs that are given in your pilot operating handbook. We've set up um, the conditions to the engine to, make sh to simulate it as closely as flight as possible. And whatever those conditions were that we used for 100 low lead, we use the exact same test setup and test points for the candidate fuels to get a direct back-to-back -back comparison. So the altitude chamber really allows us to provide that controlled environment to really simulate um, get very comparable back-to-back -back comparisons between the two fuels. NRC will have preliminary partial results by the end of the year and will be sharing the data with any agency looking at 100 low lead alternatives. This has been Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from Ottawa, Canada. Thanks for watching. NRC's goal is to provide the qualification data to the proper authorities that make the decisions.